Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to be changing out an XT60 connector or an X60 connector. This one got shorted out, as you can see right here. Here's what the connector looks like. This is the replacement. It has a positive and a negative logo built into it. Real nice. On the back over here, this clips in just like that. Shields it better than the original one. Comes in a pack of a bunch of them. First thing I need to do is I need to take off this heat shrink, but I got to be careful I don't cut into the positive and negative. I'm just going to take a little bit, start to peel it back. There we go. Now we can peel it open. So we have our red wire and our black wire, which is positive and negative. Next thing I need to do is I need to take off the heat shrink on the positive first, but we're going to leave the negative alone. So we're just going to gently try to cut into this. We have the heat shrink off on the positive. Now I'm going to just take this little arm, open it up, stick it like that. And now we're going to heat up the soldering iron and take off this lead. Probably put some tape on it just so it doesn't make contact with the negative when we take it off. I have the soldering iron set to 450 Fahrenheit. Just for safety, I'm going to take some electrical tape, just put that on there so we don't accidentally touch the two together. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off this heat shrink. And I'm going to set it back into the little alligator clips. Soldering iron set to 450. I'm going to tin it up real quick. Light tin. And there we go. I have two pieces of heat shrink. Got to go ahead and put these on first. Just like that. Same thing with this one. Now I'm going to take some even bigger heat shrink and I'm going to slide it over the two. Just leave that like that. Now we need to put on this back clip before we do anything else or else we won't be able to get it on. Just go ahead twist that tape, put this like this, and just slide that to the back. Now we're all set. Take our XT60 female, put it on the little clip. Now make sure your negative is where it needs to be. On the clip, it has a little negative symbol. Get this set up. Put a little bit of solder on it. Now just take your heat shrink and slide it all the way up over as far as it can go. And we'll just hit that with a little bit of heat. Now just go ahead and flip it around. And we can get started on the positive. Now 
Now very carefully set it in there. There we go, just like this. And then we'll hit it with the soldering iron. Gonna add a little bit more. There we go. Now we just take the heat shrink, slide it forward all the way as far as it can go. We take the end clip right here, slide it forward, and just push until it clicks. I'm going to go ahead and take it off here real quick. Just like this. Push it. There we go. And as you can see, really nice, solid. Don't have to worry about it coming undone. Last step, I'm going to slide the remaining heat shrink over. Just like that. Give it some heat. There you have it, a finished product. We have an XT60 completely desoldered and resoldered safely. And it looks really good.